Hi Blender fans and welcome again to Blender TC. Let's begin. In today's tutorial we're going to be making a bottle top. This technique can also be used to make tablecloths and other things so I said let's begin. X will delete the in fact we won't delete the cube. What we'll do is we'll go through some of the actual quick keys that we're going to be using. We've got the scroll wheel that will take us forward and backwards. We've got G and X will take us in the X direction. G and Y along the green line. And G and Z will take up top to bottom. X we will use to actually delete the cube. And if we press Ctrl and Z, it will undo our last moves until we can put the cube back into the centre of this scene. So, like I said, we won't be needing the cube, so let's delete the cube. X to delete. What we're going to do for this actual tutorial, we're going to add in a cylinder. So, we're adding in a cylinder, and I'm just going to move it G and Z until it just goes below the green line as such and then I'm going to add in a mesh and the mesh I'm going to add in to is a circle so we add a circle in and what we'll do initially is we will fill this circle up so I'm going to edit mode by pressing the tab key F to fill the circle and then what I'm going to do is actually go on to we've got point select line select and face select here which you can hit by going on the on your normal keypad one two or three but I'm going to hit the 2 key because I need it on a line select. So what we do is we're going to select the outer edge. I press the Alt key and left click then to actually make it highlight the edges. And then I'm going to extrude and then scale. E and S scale again. E and S scale again. And I think that's about it. In fact, I can make it a little bit bigger. So E and S, just to scale it a little bit bigger. And like I say, I think that's about it. Right, to make our bottle top, it couldn't be simpler. What we're going to do is we're going to use the physics modifiers. And so what we're going to do is you've got this little um, like moon with the other planet running around it. Hit that. And what I'm going to do is hit the uh, cloth simulation. So hit the cloth, and as you can see, that's just done that to that. So I'm just going to hit Shift and left click, which takes us to the front of our animation. And what I'm going to do is actually add a collision modifier into this cylinder. So select your cylinder with left click, hit collision, and then I'm going to actually select the item that I'm going to use for my bottle top and I'm going to add in a subdivision modifier if I hit the wrench or the spanner here I'm going to add a modifier and the other modifier I'm going to add is the subdivision surface I've hit that and I'm just going to take that up to three so now we've got what we've got we've got the subdivision modifier enabled so I'm just going to apply that subdivision modifier by hitting the little arrow here and just hit apply. So what we've got here, we've got a hell of a lot of geometry. If, a, if I'm going to edit mode by pressing the tab key, going to A, you can see there's a lot of geometry, but this will be useful for our cloth sim simulation that we're going to use to make this into the bottle cap. Like I say, we've already got the cloth simulation actually hit. So all we need to do now is hit the spacebar to make the actual animation play forwards. And as you can see, we've now got something that looks a bit like a bottle top shape. All I'm going to do is smooth shade this. And that's absolutely rubbish. So the reason it's rubbish is because it, we're actually using like a cotton material. So what we can do is, what you've got at the side of this uh, cloth modifier, you've got a thing called cloth, and I'm going to select this cloth, and I'm going to select rubber, which is more close to the actual metal that we're going to actually need to actually make this happen. So, select the rubber, run the animation again, so shift, 
and left click will undo and just hit it and as you can see that's a much better effect and it looks a lot like a bottle top so now what we need to do to actually fix our bottle top is you would actually just apply this modifier so hit the spanner again as you can see it's got the actual cloth modifier on here as you can see if I make that a little bit wider it's got the cloth modifier and if I actually apply this that's it our bottle top is nearly done the only thing I'm going to do is add a bit of shape to it so delete the actual cylinder X delete the cylinder and as you can see that's now got our bottle top and if I were to just select the point select select the mid select the middle point select the point modifier it's got to light up blue like that G and Z and what you do is use your scroll wheel to actually change the shape of this so I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a round bevel and that's it that's my bottle cap done apart from adding a texture which can be done quite simply if I just went on new selected this at the side went for an image texture opened an image let's have a think where's an image I know we'll just use the actual blender work just go into details horizontal list let's have a look yeah blender logo kit blender kit let's go into a bit of thumbnail so I can see it and quickly I'm adding a texture into the actual item going to UV editing F7 to look from the top select the texture that we would like tab to take me into edit mode A to select all U to project from view and select project from view A to select all S to scale and if we go into the actual render mode on here right, back out of edit mode onto the render mode here as you can see we've now got the logo on top of our bottle cap and just back into the modeling window and we've got the logo on top of our bottle cap and all I need to do is add a HDR eye and that's it we can add the bottle underneath the actual cap and as you can see that makes quite a good cap just as a bonus feature what I'm going to do is quickly show you something else that's quite nifty say you wanted to make a table with a tablecloth let's just quickly simply do that for you so object add a mesh and we're going to add in a cylinder again scale it down scale 0.5 scale Z 0.1 and so we've got our table scale the Z down and what we're going to do is add a collision modifier we're going to add the collision to it and then make another tablecloth so add a mesh this time we're going to actually add in a circle scale that so undo proportional editing scale the circle G and Z press the tab key go into edit mode E and S just to scale it down to there F to fill and just add a Collision modifier, uh, blah, 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 blah. add a subdivision surface again, and one, two, three, apply that again. And what we've got is we've now got a tablecloth, and I'm just going to add in a new texture. And the texture I'm going to do is a checkered texture, just make it um, red and fat white. And blue and 
then just right, so I think just add the path modifier again take it to the front of the animation drop it over there smooth shade I don't like the actual uh, don't like that so I'm just going to change the scale to make the make the check a bit smaller and what you can do is you can add change the material so this time I'm going to make a silky material so just select the soft body modifier and let's have a look silk run the actual animation again and as you can see we've now made a tablecloth the more geometry you've got on your tablecloth so if I add a bit more geometry add modifier subdivide surface the more geometry I add apply then sometime and the better the cloth simulation but it does make your computer slow right down Thank you for joining me on Blender TC and please support my channel, subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell. That way you'll get my next tutorial. This is Blender CC signing off. Thanks very much and bye.